All right, uh, guys, let's start with the Nationals. And I want to I want to get to a quote from Doug Fister, one of the early, one of the additions to the roster this year from spring training on Matt Williams as new manager. As soon as the phone call was made that I had been traded, um, sheer excitement had come over me to know that I'm, I'm going to be playing for the Nationals, who is a great team, and to be able to play for Matt Williams. was able to watch him uh, as a kid growing up in San Francisco when he was playing for the Giants. And you know now getting to know him on a personal level uh, and the sheer love for the game, the excitement, the fire that he brings every day, uh, he really sets the example and sets that tone for us, and he's done that from day one, and, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a great thing for us as a team. I love this time of year, especially when there's snow on the ground here in D.C. and seeing those beautiful, sunny Florida sights. Uh, Adam, I was there, man. Was you, were there. <laughs> you were there. Oh, You're here now. You're going back there. How <laughs> happy and jovial guys are when there's no wins or losses on, on your... Adam, I want to get your early <laughs> impressions of Matt Williams first. Yeah. Um, you know, I think he's been really impressive ever since his first press conference. Uh, he's sort of done and said all the right things. Um, the players, you know, even sort of an, uh, an off-the-record, just sort of casual conversations, you know, the players and the, and the older players really uh, have taken to him and, and like him a lot so far. Now, it's really, you know, a first-year manager like LeVar just sort of mentioned, when, you know, there's no losses, there's no wins. Um, it's hard to sort of evaluate a guy now, um, you know, where he hasn't made any really de decisions. Um, you know, we have, we have no idea how, how he's going to react or how the room will perceive him. When they, when they lose their first, uh, you know, have their first four game losing streak or something. Um, so there, there's certain, I wouldn't say the, the jury's in, but so far he's been really impressive and has every indication that he's going to do, you know, a, a really fine job uh, for the first year. What's different in this year's spring training, the way he runs it versus how Davey ran it last year? And yeah, last I mean, it, it's definitely natural to compare. I don't want to make it seem like Davey was just kind of rolling the balls out. Um, <laughs> but uh, there, is a, there is a lot more sort of regimentation, there's a lot more uh, meticulous uh, planning. Uh, the schedule is, is just you know kind of laid out every single morning. Guys know exactly um, you know where they need to be, uh, how they need to be doing what they're doing, um, and so there's there's there is definitely a little more sort of edge, a little more Christmas to the practices uh, for sure. There's no question. I think like like uh, Denard Span mentioned one day. He said, "Yeah, I felt like I knew I had to like take a left step every three seconds." Or, you know, <laughs> so it's like it, they feel like everything is just mapped out for them totally. Um, and 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 I think and, and Williams is, is sort of taking that. Uh, with himself as well. I mean, he's doing, uh, you know, like the, the very first day there, he was practicing where he needed to stand in the dugout so the third base coach could see his signs. Um, and now Davey probably would have been like on a golf course somewhere at, that, at, <laughs> at, at 4 p.m., which, again, there's nothing, you know, they won 98 games and had a great start two years ago, so it's not like you can invalidate you know, Davey's ways. Uh, but certainly it, it is different, um, and I think it's probably what this team needs, you know. I mean, I think it's, you know, and, and they're, they're willing to do it because they were disappointed with how last year went. And the way Williams kind of presents it, uh, you know, I, 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 I was kind of worried, you know, hearing about all the planning and all the sort of like daily quotes he puts up there, that some of the veteran guys would sort of roll their eyes or say, you know, whatever. But the way he, the way he goes about it, the way his de both in his demeanor um, and his sort of the, the practical way he goes about it, um, it's, it's something that, like, they can apply it. It's very, it's very applicable to, to how they go about their day. Um, and so it's not just sort of uh, eyewash, you know, as the, the baseball term goes. Last question on Williams. How about his personal relationship with some of the players? Is that different? It must be different than the way Davey sort of, I mean, this guy's much more of a contemporary to some of these guys. Mm -hmm. um, they probably saw him play when they were growing up. Um, how's the personal relationships? That's definitely, the big, the, you know, one of the biggest factors, too, is that, um, you know, he had a lot of sort of, uh, it, it was almost like an instant credibility he had with the guys because they, they watched him growing up. Um, they know... He knows what they're going through because he played, you know, less than, than than ten years ago. He was, he was still in the game. Uh, he's been close to the game, you know, for, for that span too. So he's a young guy who understands. Uh, you know, I mean, Davey certainly understands the game. I think Matt Williams definitely has a better understanding of like a modern uh, player more so than Davey. And you know, he's not going to be telling people about Steven Strasburg putting like icy hot the wrong spot before start. <laughs> um, so, uh, so I think that that that's a really huge thing for the players, though, is that how closely he is to, to them and how well he understands them as a contemporary.